Hello, my name is Oleg. We made this video to show you the basics of the K3 Cottage software professional package. I will explain you the main principles of the program and will show you how the program works. Let's start from creating our new project. From the starting window click the create new button. Uh, here you see the dates, uh, the order date and the deadline, you can set them too. Uh, let's uh, call our project cabin, if you like. To save time we shall not fill all the fields for now. Here we can uh, set the material we shall work with. OK. Now shift to the plan view. It is easy to work with. We shall start building our cabin from walls. Specify the coordinates of all intersection points first. From the auxiliary panel run command house wall create. Specify the coordinates of the first node of your first wall. Enter zero three times. Don't forget to use space for the intervals. Then press enter and put the coordinates of the second node of the wall on the x-plane. Set the length of the wall equal 3000 mm without offsets. Set y and z equal 0. The value of z will be always 0 because we work with the x-z plane. After having set the coordinates press enter. The chord of the wall parameters appears. The card shows the length of the wall equal 3560 mm. The measurement includes both projections. The parameters of all walls will be the same. Thus, uncheck this Show at Creation box. Click OK. Our first wall appears. Continue building walls. Specify the first node of the second wall. Type 3000 0 and press Enter. This node coincides with the end of the first wall because the walls intersect. Further, set the coordinates of the second node of the second wall 3000, 5400, 0. Press Enter again. We shall build the third and the fourth walls using the bindings to all axes only. Aim cursor on the end of the second wall till you see the bolt cross and click. Further, move the cursor to the left node and click again. Build the fourth wall accordingly. Let's build one more wall. A dividing wall which will separate the bathroom from another room. In the dialog window input the coordinates of the wall first node. 0, 2000, 0. Press Enter. Further perform binding to the opposite wall. We have built the walls. Let's get to beams. Firstly, we shall build beams in the washing room. From the auxiliary panel, select command House Beams Create. By the left click, select the walls that will support the beams. At first, uh, select the wall A and then the wall B. Specify the beam projections equal 100 to avoid them intersecting with walls. Then change the beam material in the parameters window. Uncheck the box Use Wall Material and click Edit. Choose uh, section type Timber, section dimensions Beam 140 by 45. Click OK. Further, specify the position of beams in millimeters 250. This means that top points of beams will rest 250 mm above the basement. Click OK. Further, in the context menu choose the key with filling and specify the first wall that we shall shift back from. This will be the wall number 3. In the command window specify the setback value equal 135 mm. This is the width of the beam. Press Enter. Then indicate the second wall from which uh, we shall shift back from and set the setback equal minus 135 mm since we move in the reverse direction.
press enter. Now move the pointer until you choose the required beam position with a step of 640. Fix it by left click. Finish the operation by clicking the dunk command. Let's use another method for building beams in the other room. Select the supporting walls 1 and 2 and choose mode with setback. Indicate the wall to step back from. This is wall A. Set the setback equal 135 mm and the number of beams which will be 1. Select the wall B. The setback will be specified equal minus 135 mm and the number of beams 1. Further, indicate the first beam as a reference object for the setback and uh, the setback itself will be equal 550 millimeters. Then move the pointer to the right until you see the number 4. Fix the result by a left click. Complete the command using the key done. Now let's pass to roof beams. We shall build them by copying the floor beams. Run command beams move in millimeters all. Finish the operation by clicking Done. Choose uh, the duplication mode and in the command window set the value of beam shift. Type 3000 mm and press Enter. We have finished with beams for now. Now let's add openings. Let's start from building a door and a window in the wall number 1. From the auxiliary panel run command house opening add and indicate the wall number 1. Further specify the type of opening, which will be the door, and set the shape, which is rectangle. The shift will be 500 mm from the wall end. Set the threshold height equal to courses. Leave the opening width equal 800 mm. Set the door height equal 12 courses. Click OK. The door opening will appear in the wall 1. Specify the next opening. Choose the type window and leave the rectangle for the shape. Set the shift equal 500 mm from the wall beginning. Set the window seal height equal 8 courses. Opening width will be left 800 mm. Set height in courses equal 5. Click OK. Shift again to the plan view and add a door into the wall number 2 of the washing room. Use the command opening copy. Firstly, specify the wall containing the sample door and then indicate the door itself. Click finish. Further, uh, select the target wall. For this, left-click the wall 2. The exactly same door appears on the wall 2. The resulted door has the measurements of the sample door and is positioned 500 mm from the end of the wall. Now we need to add a small window to the washing room. Run again command house, opening, add and indicate the wall A. Make some changes to the settings card from the wall end, window seal height in courses 10, the height of this small window in rows will be 3, then you see how much it makes in millimeters, and just input this measurement into the width field. To get a better view on the model, to rotate it, click the icon for the dynamic rotation mode. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. Press Ctrl Z and highlight the bottom of the opening with the help of a frame. You can clearly see the groove for the future window. To return to the previous view, press Ctrl and X simultaneously. 
Now let's build a roof. Run command the roof, new roof slope, parameterize. Indicate the supporting wall for the future slope. This will be the wall A. Switch to the front view, specify the direction of the slope and fix it by the left click. In the parameters window, set the slope angle equal 30 degrees. Build the next slope in the same manner. In the plan view, select the supporting wall B, switch to the front view, set the slope angle equal 30. Press enter. Let's take away all the excesses. Run the command trim slopes all. Then click finish. Delete the unnecessary edges. Right click and complete the operation by clicking done. We've got a classic double sloped roof. Our cabin misses the gables. In order to build them, we need to raise the front walls 1 and 3 and to cut them. Switch to the plan view, run the command wall, modify parameters, further indicate the wall 1 and set the number of the top row equal 25. Click OK. Perform the same operation with the wall 3. Now run the command trim a wall by a roof slope. Indicate the wall 1 and select one of the slopes. Select the cutting mode by normal and set cutting for the chamfered log end with chamfer. There is no need to set the angle, it is calculated by the system automatically. Click OK. Set the allowance for chamfered log end equal 150 mm. Indicate the next slope and simply click OK in the window. Accomplish the cutting of the first wall by clicking Finish. Cut the wall 3 in the same manner. Now it is time to build rafters. Run the command roof create rafters. By the left click select one of the slopes and choose parameters from the context menu. In the material card change the material and select the board 50 by 150. Click OK and select the rafters creation parameters. Cut to slope Step, consider walls, from beginning, single board. Leave the step equal 600, press enter. Leave the offset equal 0, click enter. Set the name for the created group of boards. We shall call them rafters. The rafters appear on the roof. Indicate another slope, repeat all the operations. Just select the mode from end instead of from beginning. The step and the offset will be the same. Use uh, the same name, rafters. But let's give our cabin a more realistic look. First of all, fill the door and the window openings. Run command opening, filling, add. Point out uh, the door on the first wall, choose the panel door for the door type, click OK, leave the default uh, door parameters, close uh, the parameters window, the door appears 
in the doorway. Indicate the window opening and add a window in the same way. Indicate the small window in the wall A, select the window number 3, take the window sill away. Finally, let's make the roof look more realistic. Run command roof, display slope as solid. Click all. That's all. Our cabin looks much better now. Now build the log notches. Run command wall, notches and wait for the execution of the operation. The project is accomplished now. The reports and uh, the blueprints can now be produced. The project model is ready. To get a better view on the cabin, switch to the fourth viewport. Expand the current view to full screen. We can also turn the dynamic rotation mode in order to rotate the cabin in arbitrary position. Now leave the dynamic rotation mode and get to preparation of the drawings and the reports for production and assemblage of the cabin. We shall not create all the reports. Let's study just some examples of them. Click uh, the icon with a pencil. Check the required reports. Check the material register, the floor plans, the log table, the front views. Don't forget to specify the axes A and B for the front views. Leave the default parameters for all the reports. Click Create and wait till the reports appear on the screen. The drawings appear first and the tables go after. Now appears the front view in axis A B. The log table is the next. This report contains the list of all logs of the project, arranged in several groups by criteria. Each log is assigned its own name, length and detailed drawing. The system provides information about the material of each wall and of the whole project. Now close the report and look through the last of the created reports. Uh, this is material register. This report contains uh, the list of all the materials used in the project. It provides the information on material consumption and cost. That's enough for the first time. Now you can close uh, the project reports window, save the project and quit. If you like the video, please uh, share and ask questions. New topics uh, for the videos about work in K3 Cortage are welcome. Thanks for your attention. See you again.